don't you come to the Blythewood party after the game? It's my dad and I. Dad, we, huh? My life's set. Wear black, play the music of dead men. All it takes is one point less to change your life. Just the beginning. It's never really over. Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and my guest is Chris Clark of Cinema St. Louis. We've just been watching a trailer of a film that debuted at the showcase a couple of years ago, is that right? In 2015, the okay. film, um, the short was called Parallel Courts by a local um, woman filmmaker named Catherine Dudley Rose. In between then and now, um, she raised a Kickstarter campaign to make the short into a feature, which was her intention all along. She was successful, and we are going to show the feature in this year's showcase. So it's, you know, come full circle, and we're very pleased to that she did it, and it's great, and we're going to show the, the longer piece. And that's a great way to get involved from the beginning. If you don't have a full film, then you could bring your short to start. Yeah, sure. I'm of the opinion that, it, you know, if you can't tell a nice little story in five to ten minutes, then, you know, please don't do it in 90. Uh, you know, you know <laughs> make, something, make something on a, a smaller scale first and, and yeah. you, know, you know, learn the craft that's and then, then expand later. She did it just beautifully. Yeah, what a great success story for her. Yes. And has she been in other festivals now? Sure. We've, you know, I've known her for a long time since she was a student and we showed, you know, other of her films in the past. So, you know, it's nice watching um, progression of filmmakers work over the years like a young you know painter you know watching their work over yeah. the years and then all of a sudden they sell them for and millions the quality of dollars of <laughs> yes that trailer sure is, is yes. amazing it's, yes. it's beautiful you can tell it's mm -hmm. worth definitely worth watching so tell us about the submission process how does it work if somebody we have um, you're taking submissions right now for the filmmaker showcase yeah we started uh, at the end of January which is our custom we go through the end of May uh, then we have a period of time where we make our final decisions and get everything ready for the programs um, anybody Anybody at all, as long as they grew up or have a strong, strong connection to St. Louis, anybody at all can submit. Submit. They don't need to be um, a, a filmmaker per se. They can be anyone who's made a film. I mean, it could be a short, could be a, a documentary, could be a feature length project, could be anything. A music video, experimental. As long as you're from St. Louis, you've made a film, then you're eligible. And more and more people, you were saying in the last segment, people are making films on their phones now. Sure. Are you finding that the, the number of submissions is increasing as the technology of making films has gotten simpler? Oddly, it has not. It has been the same spooky number right between 100 to 120 every year for all this time. It, mm. it never really flickers all that much. People wait to the last week. Mm -hmm. The majority of submissions will come in the last couple of days. That remains the same right. too. But there's always new people. Mm -hmm. um, which is interesting that there are people from different parts of the, the city and, and county that we've never heard of before mm -hmm. and also the same people that you know we've known for a long time who put in new works or they're in the credit for somebody else's film or they're a mentor or a teacher for somebody else so there's a lot of um, helping and is that exciting to you to see some new names come in oh always it's, mm -hmm. it's you know if I see the same names come up I kind of know what to expect so I try to have an objective opinion but I know kind of where I'm going and I know what quality level to expect when I have a brand new entry of someone I've never heard of before then you know it's like a discovery it's exciting you know is it is it gonna be good I mean I like it you know who is this person you know I'll try and read a little bit of their bio that they might put on the submission form um, but you know it's a, like opening a brand new book that you know nothing about that's so exciting so do you take a couple weeks at the end of May set them aside to just watch these films I know because we have such a short window in between I'm, I will watch them as they come in and then you know we'll get like 50 the last week so I'm watching them day and night so we can make a quick turnaround and put the event together as fast as possible so I'll announce the, the finalists uh, the final selections on the 7th of okay. June so I okay. give myself a not yeah. much time not much time okay so get it in early so get more of Chris's attention right <laughs> yeah so what so to do to submit what do you go to the website and follow on um, the cinema st. Louis website on the st. Louis filmmaker showcase page there's a link to um, film freeway is a, a online film submission service that mm -hmm. almost every film festival on the planet uses mm -hmm. and you can use it for any festival and we have people point uh, there is a modest fee 
uh, to submit, uh, uh, less for a short, more for a feature, because it's mm -hmm. more time. Right. Um, <clears throat> but anyone can do it, and it's very simple. Um, and as soon as it is on my screen, then I'll start to watch them yeah. in order, so I can already make some, I've already made a few decisions, yeah. uh, with more to come. Well, yeah, we just saw one, so sure. that's exciting. Yes. All right, very good. So thank you so much, Chris, for coming back this year and filling us in on the plans for this year's Filmmaker Showcase. For submission details and other info, visit cinema. St. And there's more STL Live after this, so please stay with us.